Kevin, another next gen video? What is wrong with you? You've done two on this product already. Uh, you're absolutely correct, but as a few of you kindly reminded me in the comments of both those videos actually, apparently we could have done much better, right? Some people said that it needs to cure for 24 hours. Some people said that I was applying it wrong. You know, blah, 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 the comments, I've seen them all. My videos on this product have not done what I consider to be well in terms of a video like likes and dislikes, which is fine, I don't care about that ratio. Uh, but if you are here and you're listening right now, hey, like for the algorithm, that helps. And that might just be because of the nature of the product, because the product, you know, isn't perfect. It didn't really live up to my expectations when I did the first install video and like review on the product. But what are we doing? Why do I have a brand new unopened bottle of this next gen product? What are we doing today? Well, let me tell you guys, I am giving it a fair review. As you probably could tell by the title and by the thumbnail, we are doing a full 24 hour cure on this car. We're actually going to do half the hood. It is dirty right now. So we're going to wash it completely first, get all the contaminants off, make a fair brand new clean slate for this product to cure 24 hours, like I already mentioned, and give next gen really a fair trial. Give them a fair opportunity to prove themselves with this product. Sometimes on my installs and my reviews, I kind of wing it as far as a product, but we are going to pay very special attention to the instructions and also the advertisements. We're going to apply this just like the advertisement shows. I can literally play the ad side by side, watching every motion, every movement I do, and uh, we can compare after 24 hours. But guys, really quick, if you're new, subscribe to the channel, like the video. If you're new, my name is Kevin. I have an Audi S5. Do tons of mods to it. All kinds of cool cars on my channel. This is my girlfriend's Ford Escape, so we're gonna make half the hood shiny for this video. And it's also a black car, so I think that's gonna be really important too, because we're gonna see the shine, we're gonna see the gloss factor, we're gonna see the water beating in 24 hours when everything's cured. But I feel like I'm dragging out this intro, so let's get right into it. I need to wash this hood, get all the decontaminants, grease, dirt, snow, everything off it because it is the middle of January. We got a lot of crap on the road. So let's take care of that. And then we get into the install, ladies and gents. This is going to be a good video. So stick around, watch the entire thing. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully, you know, if you do want this product, obviously links are always in the description. Let's get washing. <laughs> bear with me i'm washing in a garage and i'm trying not to use water because it's all kind of collecting down here but i'm gonna get a rinse bucket kind of go over it and then hit it with a final dry get this panel completely clean and then we're gonna get to application so let's do it let me tell you what we've got right here this is a completely clean dry prepped panel for anything that we want to throw at it right now obviously in this case we are going to be doing the next gen, but before we do, let's carefully read the instructions so I don't mess up. So you guys get a good, honest review. Like I said, never opened. This is a brand new bottle. Let's read the instructions, shall we? Shake well before using. Ensure surface is clean and dry before applying. Lightly mist the ceramic spray onto individual body panels of the car and use a clean microfiber towel to rub the spray in. Some haziness may occur. Flip towel over and lightly polish to a high gloss. If any haziness is still present, redo the panel. Okay, guys, so that's pretty simple. I know in the next gen, oh, let's get some focus. I know in the next gen commercial, the guy did use the exact same towel, did like a buff on and then wipe off. What I also did notice in the commercial is that they came very close to the paint and sprayed a lot. Now I know some of the competitors like the Turtle Wax Hybrid Ceramic Solutions says to only use like two or three sprays per panel. So this is very different. I'm going to do my best to emulate the results of their actual commercial so we can see if it's just a bunch of marketing BS or if it's legit. So that's what we're gonna do right now, guys. I'm going to apply. Let's do the right side of the hood with this next gen. So brand new bottle, we are all set to go. I'm gonna shake really well, shake it for about a minute. Now I have no idea why you need to shake it this long. Maybe it's the chemicals mixing or something, but I don't know. Like I said, we're gonna have a fair review. We're gonna do everything step by step, just like the commercial. Hopefully get the best results out of this product. Moment of truth, safety is gonna be off. I think it's funny they have a safety on this product, but now we are locked and loaded, ready to go brand new microfiber towel. This is going to be an application that is the exact same as the commercials, exact same instruction following, the real deal. Let's get to it.
So I can tell you just by doing this small section right here, I did get a little bit of overspray on this side. So I decided to cover the top portion with a towel. Hopefully that won't happen. But the comparison, we're gonna compare both sides and see what this product actually does. So that wasn't too bad. I just did a small portion. Let's finish the hood and then I'll give you some thoughts right away. Obviously the 24 hour cure time and the performance testing is gonna happen tomorrow. So that's exciting. Let's do the whole panel. I'm using very little pressure right now to work this in with one side of the microfiber. And then once it looks a little hazy, it's worked into the surface completely, just like the commercial guys. We're flipping it over to the drying side and buffing it off so it's a nice shine. Do one final buff off and then we'll be completed. So again, work it in with one side, very little pressure, flip it over and buff it off and that's it. All right guys, that was the entire process for the application with this next gen ceramic spray. Hopefully, that was about exactly the same as the commercials and on the marketing is advertised. Like I said, I just want this to be a fair comparison between next gen and well, nothing, I guess. What is gonna happen? This is gonna cure, right now I can already tell the shine is looking impressive. And that is one thing that I was uh, happy about when we did the C63 AMG. Shine on black paint, good, thumbs up. Ease of application in this case was relatively easy. The haziness went away quick. Using the back of the towel, we were able to get that haziness off very quickly and bring it to this beautiful black finish. So ease of application, I would say is an eight and a half out of 10 for this next gen product. The only one I've used that I would say is easier is obviously the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solution Ceramic. That has been one of my favorite products and honestly for the price, can we beat it? I don't know, we'll see. That is what we're going to test tomorrow with the water beating. We're gonna put 24 hours on the clock and compare this next gen coated side with the side that has nothing on it. So I don't even wanna pull it out yet because I wanna see the shine after 24 hours. Maybe there is something in this spray that cooks on, cures on, that makes it shinier, I don't know. You guys, the experts on the internet, told me to wait 24 hours, so that's exactly what we're doing. But I don't wanna be the dead horse, so guys, next gen, 24 hours on the clock, let's get a comparison. Ladies and gents, it has been 24 hours, so the product is fully cured onto the surface. Shine, gloss, must say, is looking pretty good. We did take it outside and get some footage of the gloss from just earlier, so I'm gonna show that right now. It looked really good, especially with the reflection, especially with the snow outside. As you can tell, we've got that light right in the middle, and that is the uncoated side. This is the coated side. Not a huge, noticeable difference just with the naked eye, but I think the biggest difference is gonna come in the water beating, so that's what we're gonna test right now. 24 hours after, fully cured, let's do it. I'm going to do my best to uh, directly follow what Next Gen did in their advertisements. I know they had a hose going, but I think this is gonna allow us to get a pretty similar result. We're working with what we got here because it is 20 degrees in Michigan. The faucets are off. I don't wanna break anything or make anything explode. So, so don't freak out. This is gonna be a good controlled, even test. We're gonna hit the left side, which is completely uncoated and untreated first. Ladies and gents, without further ado, here we go. So with the uncoated, we see super slow sheeting. I'm not sure if we're gonna get any water beating at all, honestly, with this test, but the sheeting was slow. This is kind of the aftermath. We're gonna hit it now on the other side, which is coated with next gen after 24 hours of cure time.
So I'll admit the sheeting was a bit quicker. Um, not quite sure if we're getting any real beating here. Not gonna lie, I was hoping for better results, especially after waiting 24 hours secure, because in the last review I did on Next Gen, I was disappointed with the water beating. So maybe it's just because we're not hitting it with a hose or the pressure washer, but you know, we did the first time and I can't say I'm too pleased the second time around. I guess we can keep hitting it with water, maybe go crazy. Kind of this slow sheeting, not really beating up. I can't confidently say I'm happy. <sighs> well, guys, let's hit back to the wide angle. My overall thoughts on Next Gen as a product, not great. I think it can get you by in a pinch if you're looking for a quick shine or something of the sort, but you know, so can any detail spray. If you're really looking for a protective layer of ceramic or hybrid ceramic on your car, I think there are definitely more valuable options. And I say valuable because Next Gen is a 30 plus dollar product. And I've reviewed other products on my channel that are definitely better value like the Turtle Wax Hybrid Solution Ceramic. You see the beading, you see the protectiveness, you see the ease of application, the shine. For next gen, it's not quite there for me. I did an honest review, I did a fair review in my opinion. Comment down below if you think I should change anything, but honestly guys, I think this is the real final result and I can't say I'm too happy. I just don't think I could spend another 30 some dollars on this product. Uh, it's no hit on next gen, I think they make a good product for you know what it is, but would I buy it? I don't think I would. We always keep good, honest car product reviews on the channel. So if you guys appreciate this sort of stuff, leave a like for the algorithm, hit subscribe if you're new and leave a comment down below if you think I could improve on anything in my technique, whether it be the installation, the review, etc. Constructive criticism is always welcome on this channel. Guys, until next time, we'll see ya, adios.